finding good quality armor and weapons for reenactment can be really hard. There isn't a lot of bricks and mortar stores in Australia, and buying online can be hit and miss. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Nordic Axe by Medieval Shop in Australia. G'day everyone, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes, you'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture, you'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyse historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. Recently I purchased a whole bunch of uh, axes from these guys. I've really been quite impressed with them. I needed some axes for my friends and family and some of the other guys in my medieval uh, reenactment group. And I've been looking for axes that were, were not just fight axes, but I get, a, I guess, a bit more sort of generalised. Uh, I wanted axes that were looking very realistic to the and authentic to the medieval period, and I needed something that was obviously cost-effective. And this is one of the axes that I've come up with. Let's take a bit of a look. It is 657 grams, which is incredibly lightweight. The handle is 51 centimeters long. The head width is 16 centimeters. The head height is 9.6 centimeters and the haft is 3.3 by 2.1 centimeters so let's take a look at that Aronio let's take a look okay you can see there we've got a really nice oval shape and quite a thin axe blade so the thin axe blade actually represents some incredible craftsmanship that's gone into this weapon you have a very realistic uh, appearing piece of kit I really do like that and if you look closely at the blade, you can see tooling marks from the blacksmith. I really like the oval shape of the handle. What that does is it gives me an incredible amount of feedback into exactly where my axe is in relationship to the target that I'm aiming for. That's important because if my axe doesn't hit the target in a perpendicular fashion, it, then I can potentially lose control of my weapon and that becomes very dangerous in a medieval, medieval reenactment environment. But due to the lightweightness of the, the axe, I find it's just such an incredibly easy weapon to use. It's so easy to handle. I really like the way that you've got this fantastic bearded effect to the axe. It's very authentic. This is not the axe of Hollywood. This is not the axe of the TV shows. This isn't the, the high detailing uh, that you might sort of see in some of the fantasy books. And this is very much an authentic piece and you might find something like this uh, in a museum. It's, it's authentic to the Scandinavians and the Germanic tribes of 1,000 years ago. I like as well, it's, it's a very cost-effective piece. Uh, you can use it just so easily. Uh, and it, because of the weight and the way that this is constructed, it's actually uh, very easy on the ergonomics of how this, this comes to, to be used. The bearded effect on the axe is very good because I can hook shields with it or hook into people with it uh, in, a, in a fight training environment. Now obviously for medieval reenactment, this being a fairly sharp axe, I'm going to need to dull the edge down to three millimeters and round off the edges. But please check with your group as to what your rules are. Righto guys, I really, really like this for $61. And 50 cents. This is just a really nice uh, piece of kit. Well crafted, well built, uh, well put together, and it, it really does have that feel that this is just um, a really nice piece of kit. It looks the part as well. This has such a really nice feel to it. It really looks the part as well. I'm giving this 8 out of 10. I highly recommend it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you in my next video.